Hey guys, Jill here from Escovet Tech. Today we're going to be working on a chicken. I have a flock of my own and uh, I noticed that I have a chicken with a uh, crop impaction. So we're going to get to that and I'm going to show you how to do that. There are other chickens roaming around so you'll probably see everybody. So what is crop impaction? The crop is the gateway to the chicken's stomach and it's like a vital element to your chicken's overall health. Knowing how to recognize, prevent, and treat the crop problems in your chickens should definitely be on your to-do list. If you don't know what the crop is or what it does, do some research and make sure you understand. An impacted crop can cause so many problems with the chicken. I'm going to show you a little video of what my chicken is doing. She is not eating anymore. She's barely drinking and she has this weird head jerk thing. Not every chicken will have that head bob thing, but uh, this one definitely does and she's uncomfortable. If your chicken is suffering from this common health concern, it's time to do something about it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold her by the feet like this. I'm gonna put a finger between because I don't want her bones to hit to each other. And here's a different angle. And then, as you can see, she's a little bit stressed. but her crop is massive. So it's this big and uh, she's been struggling. She's been yanking her head around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch hands so you can see a little better. So if you look on here, this here is her crop. So this humongous area is pretty big for a chicken who just came out of the roost overnight. So we're gonna give it a little massage. I know that sounds weird. Massage around all the things that are in there which God knows what she ate. So we're gonna give it a little massage and then we're gonna hold her upside down. I continually move my fingers around here so that I'm not putting pressure points on her bones. We're just gonna keep massaging it and we're gonna wait for her to start drooling. Oh, hello. Get out of here. <laughs> it's okay, baby. As I mush it around, I can hear a little bit of liquid in there, but there's a big hard ball right there. So we're probably gonna have to give her some oil. We'll just give her a few minutes to hang. This is not a quick process. As you can see, she's starting to get some phlegm in her mouth. You can give her a break by uprighting her. Crop is feeling a little bit looser. Tip her back over. Here we go. There's some stuff coming out, I'm pretty sure. Just keep checking her, making sure that she is doing okay. Her color is a little bit red, but that's her normal. So. All right, we're gonna give her a break. There 
we go. Okay, honey. Okay, a couple more times. I hear the gurgling. It's gonna come out soon. Okay, I'm gonna give her a break for a little bit because that's pretty stressful on them. I'm gonna put her back in her little crate here in a second. There's some bird seed and this smells really terrible. I just filled my bird feeder the other day and it uh, looks like she's been helping herself. You can tell this is really stressful and very, very tiring for her. So we're going to give her a little bit of a break and just kind of let her relax. You want to make sure you offer some fresh water after doing all that because if they got stuff stuck in their throat, you want to be able to rinse it down. Okay, so we're on day two here. I let her be in the crate all night um, with no food just water with a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it to kind of help reduce that sour crap. We're gonna get her out and see what we see. I did see some poop in here, so that's a good sign stuff's moving through. Come on, honey. See how you're doing today. Now, stop. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to check out the crop and see how it feels today. It still feels pretty big and pretty distended. So I'm just going to hold her for a minute, get these guys out of here, get going, get going. 
got some stuff coming out already. Come on, honey. There we go. Definitely feels movable. We're movable today. Yep, we're gonna give her a break. Whatever works to get it out, it's gotta be broken up in there. So as you can see, we're still getting some out, which is wonderful. Come on, honey. I know, it's getting there. It's hoping to see some of that seed. I can kind of feel some of it still, but We'll take what we can get. There's a big gulp of it. Good job, kiddo. Well, good news, we got it all cleaned out, and now she gets to go back with her flock. The lovin's, don't ya? Yeah, we'll get there. So once everything is all cleared, what do we do next? Well, I prefer you keep her in a cage or dog crate in the coop area for the next week or so. This helps to monitor if she's eating or not eating, make sure she's pooping. I want you to slowly give her back food and always have fresh water available. And she also needs access to grit or sand because they need that to digest food. Check the crop daily for an impaction, and if you find one, treat it promptly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, I love to hear from you. And remember, I'm here for you. You're here for your pet. Have a great day.